Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. As the thumbnail implies, we do have an update on the only Jaya situation. Um, they not only went after Aunt Karen Zero again, a creator that has been trying to hold them accountable for the racist things that they've done in the past, as well as not upholding their promises to be more occlusive of the black community on their page, which they never went through with and did any of those collaborations. And they are also... It looks like they are also attacking, not so much attacking, but going after and almost insulting someone known as Queer Raccoon, a.k.a. Faye the Gay, on Instagram. They are a creator that I follow. They do a wonderful Miss Frizzle cosplay on their page. So, yeah. I'm going to show all those clips, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's talk about it. This is all the clips that I have right now, um, and if you want to sign the petition, the petition is in Aunt Karen Zero's profile, as far as I'm aware. Again, this video is only to educate. No hate to anyone involved. Please do not send hate to only Jayus. This is just for in case you want to know what is going on with all the TikTok news that is going on. And this is a story that people want to know about. So, there's that disclaimer. Because last time I had several people in my comment sections yelling at me. So there's that disclaimer. <laughs> Without further ado, let's roll the clips. I'm still shaking a little bit, but let's try to go over the situation that went over at Virtual Pride. So obviously I was a little bit grumpy going because my account is still banned for talking about ableism perpetuated by only JS. Then I also kind of got a little bit worried, realizing that they might be there as they are also queer. But then for some reason in my stupid little mind, I was like, this is a safe space. They won't invite someone who has hurt so many marginalized communities, said the D slur, the N word, not taking accountability for any of it, hurt the disabled community. Everything was going okay. Um, then they joined the room. I immediately started shaking and I said, why are you here? They said, I don't want to start drama. I said, why would someone be here who has said as a joke that we should rob incapacitated disabled people, which is what happened. You can view the video, it is on their page. They said, you and I both know that that didn't happen, which is quite literally gaslighting because you can see the video on their page. It kind of went on a little bit more. I'm, I'm gonna have to do part two. I don't know how many parts there's gonna be. As this was going on, I kind of saw on my phone that they were sending me voice messages and long text message, long messages on Instagram, which is the only platform that they've kind of been blocking me and unblocking me on to be messaging me on. Um, they sent me this message on Father's Day, just kind of out of the blue, that was like, like really gross. Um, I didn't want to open it because I didn't want to like respond to it at that time, so I was kind of having a good time in one of the rooms. Then they came in one of the rooms, and I'm just like. Why are they here? Why are they here again? Kind of okay the rest of the time. Um, afterwards, they sent me some more messages calling me names. Again, I didn't want to answer that. Um, like, fucking stupid. Again, calling me Snowflake. Um, I, start, I, I went live. Um, and then I start seeing unsent by sender, unsent by sender, unsent by sender. So I probably should have taken screenshots first. I have plenty from previous conversations, so... Then they joined the live and decided to voice their opinion. So continuing, people were trying to defend me and say Jay shouldn't be here. Someone who has hurt so many marginalized people should not be in here. It is not a safe place, which is really good of them. That's how we should be doing this. Then someone decided to speak over us. I don't know who it was um, and say, this is pride. We should all be getting along and loving each other. This should be a good place for us, which it's not a safe place if there is someone here who has called as a joke to hurt incapacitated disabled people, who has hurt the black community, who has hurt the trans community. That's the definition of not a safe space. So um, I was shaking and I was like almost, I was, I was almost in tears um, and they had a little like report room. So I did end up going in there and trying to explain the situation. And they said they would try and do something about it. I don't know, I don't think anything is gonna kind of come out of it, but they, they seemed like they were hearing me and I just really needed a place to calm down. Sorry, I'm making these really fast. I'm worried all of my accounts are gonna get taken down as my my main is currently post ban still. So so they came onto the live and this is what they said. The event was a safe space and you ruined it by yelling, lying, and gaslighting 
Um, first of all, I did not yell. Second of all, I said what I said, that you said that in the video, which is what you did. You were legitimately by definition gaslighting and you were by definition lying and turning people against me as a disabled creator um, to you, a racist, ableist, and transphobic creator, which is disgusting. So disgusting. And they shared these super, like, immature tweets. It was gonna be a safe space for cool conversations. Yeah, safe space for people who don't say ableist and racist and transphobic things. The victim complex is strong with this one. Mm. You're nasty. Really, Jayus? Really? You message me and you talk about the hate that you get? So somebody told you to go f off and suddenly you decided to message me as if it's my fault and then you say can you tell me if you get messages like this from people who watch me baby i've gotten way worse you see i get called the n-word all the time i get called all sorts of names by people who follow you but do you see me hopping into your dms blaming it on you when are you going to stop blaming black people for your problems when are you going to acknowledge the issues that you have? When are you going to step up and give a real apology that was not written by someone else? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm curious about. But don't you ever hop in my DMs again and tell me that I am the reason that you are having problems. Because all I do is ask for accountability. And if you can't handle accountability, well then that's on you. Today's racist of the day, in my opinion, is you. I mean, it's already been evidence that you're very immature, so I'm not shocked. Just like you're going through such extreme lengths to avoid taking accountability, to avoid even thinking about it, because you think you're just so right when hundreds, when thousands of people are like, you've hurt people you've done wrong. Just admit you're, that you're wrong, listen to people, and take accountability for it. This could have been solved really easily. You're just harassing people. I have posted everything. I did, it just got taken down here because TikTok thinks you're the baby. It's on my Twitter, it's on my Instagram. It's your words, it's what you said, it's what you did, you did it. Not even trying to take it back. Like I said, this is all that I have right now in this situation. I really hope this was able to help catch you up. This is all I know of so far. Um, I really hope that this helped. <laughs> I love you all. I hope you have a great day. Bye.